I am Lily Williams. I'm a senior here at Mount Holyoke. And the contributions to this exhibit that I was a part of were these mannequins here. And I also have two display cases out in the hall. One is about 1890s fashion history, and the other is about the history of basketball at Mount Holyoke. If you want to take a look here, she actually has a detachable skirt with bloomers underneath and that was a precaution for modesty. And another sort of interesting but awful thing is that this is actually made of wool, so women would be trying to swim in wool, <laughs> as well as a skirt and bloomers and nice puffy sleeves. You can see that it's also made of wool, so you can imagine trying to play basketball in this really heavy, scratchy fabric and trying to sweat and move in that but trust me, compared to what they were wearing in everyday life, this was very freeing. <laughs> These are four uniforms from the 1940s. And as you can see, we have one of each class color. So every student would be given a general uniform for gym or it would be a general uniform for sports as well and you would receive the color of your year. We have a couple interesting things here. So this is James Naismith. He was the original inventor of basketball, and it was actually invented in Springfield for the local YMCA because they realized that they needed more sports that could be played indoors. And the popularity of the sport spread extremely quickly, and within about four years of its invention, it was being played at Mount Holyoke. Um, we also have this really cute little paper cutout that was given as just memorabilia for students in Safford. And then if you remember the basketball uniform we just took a look at, the owner of that uniform actually made this scrapbook. So Jenny was a wonderful artist. She was also a very talented poet. Um, this scrapbook includes original poetry, amazing drawings she did. And the reason I included it is that she has included a little pamphlet of basketball songs. So basketball was such a popular sport at the school that cheers in the games would be so loud that players actually couldn't hear each other. And so cheering and clapping and yelling at games was actually banned. And so as a way to still show support for your team, they came up with songs instead. And then we also have a little college fiction novel that is set at Mount Holyoke that has to do with the women playing basketball and going to school for the first time. So if you remember, I was saying <laughs> the basketball uniform looks pretty awful, but compared to this, it is super freeing. <laughs> and then you have things like this where they're beautiful, but you also can't really move. And so this restricted movement is completely thrown out the window when you go and get to play sports, which is why it was so exciting for women of the day to have this opportunity.